Welcome to round two of Operation Charlie Fox. Dusty beat his opponent there in round one within seven minutes, so hopefully he will prove a very good challenge for Sturmtiger Jap, who I will be following through the brackets today, assuming, of course, he is able to defeat Dusty, which may be a lofty assumption, because Dusty is certainly a very competent player. He is, of course, the Star Cross Cup 1 champion alongside Honey Nuts. <laughs> Which is not something many people probably remember, but I remember because that was my event. And, um... That's why I always, I always enjoy casting Dusty, because it reminds me of my humble beginnings. So we're going to see Dusty's U.S. forces in the north. Sadly, this series, just, even though this series has a lot of potential to be a great series, it's still going to be best of one. And uh, Dusty has shown U.S. forces, and Jap has chosen Oster. We're looking at right or infantry. <laughs> Rifle Company is banned. Excuse me. So brave of Dusty to pick U.S. forces, even though Rifle Company is banned. I wonder if he's doing that as a as a, a statement <laughs> that U.S. forces may may struggle without Rifle Company, or maybe as a statement that U.S. Forces does not need Rifle Company co to compete. I actually don't know what his stance on Rifle Company was. I was vehemently opposed to banning Rifle Company because I believed that U.S. Forces would not be picked in later rounds. But Rifle, here we are, Rifle Company is banned, and Dusty has chosen U.S. Forces regardless. He's got Infantry mechani <laughs> Mechanized and Armor Company at his disposal, so that should be interesting. And GF has got Mechanized Assault, Mobile Defense, and Assault Support, so that's a pretty standard loadout, I would say. Rifleman making their way over towards the left. And Pios are going to uh, secure the cutoff house. Rear Echelon's securing this house. And they're both kind of just mind gaming around this fuel point. The MG42 will prevent its capture, so Rear Echelon troops are just trying to find ways to make themselves useful over here, I guess. Throwing down some barbed wire. There will be an engagement joined on the left. Two squads of riflemen versus two squads of grenadiers. I. I can't tell who's going to win. The riflemen are at low HP. The grenadiers set up in yellow cover as the riflemen close into short range. These are both 1v1 engagements. Neither of them is going to focus fire, but it looks like this RNG over here went very well for Dusty, so that causes him to win the entire engagement over there. This squad didn't drop a single model, whereas this one dropped three, surprisingly. And a third squad of riflemen shows up to uh, just, just in case, I guess. And third squad of Grenadiers shows up, but I think that Dusty has sufficient firepower over here to force this retreat. Ooh, look at that early grenade tech and no reaction from- Oh, that was a late retreat. I thought that was going to be a wipe for a second right there. Practically gave me a heart attack. Rear echelon troops uh, forced to retreat, I guess, over here on the right. I'm not sure what happened, but the MG42 finds an opportunity to move up unopposed and get that fuel point captured. That four-minute grenade tech, though, by Dusty, he was trying to get very sneaky. I I don't think GF was expecting that grenade. You could tell that his, his reaction time on that was a little on the slow side. No reaction here at all because throwing over the hedge, but it, that didn't do that much damage. Flamethrower upgrade. Ooh, that flamethrower pops just in the midst of this engagement. That will force Dusty to react. Pull him, pull himself away from the building a little bit. Grenadiers moving to support. Uh, rear echelon troops are showing up to... I don't know what they're going to contribute here, though. Grenade just came off cooldown. He will throw again. There is no way GAP will not see that one coming, though. Easily dodges, takes no damage. Map control looking excellent for Dusty, though. He's taken the whole left unopposed, and now he has secured the right side cutoff. So GAP must uh, succeed in his counterattack here, and he should. Sniper rolling out of the field now to turn this engagement in GAP's favor, and Dusty's um, defenses will break. Since it's pretty much nothing but a couple squads of wounded rear echelon troops holding the line. Sniper takes his first shot at those riflemen, picks up the kill. Squad gets away with two men remaining. The 
enemy is taking our territory. MG42 set up on the right side, victory point over there. And Rifleman taking control of the left side, strategic point. Yeah, Jeselin uh, has been invited to the main event. Lumpy apparently has his opinions about invitational style tournaments. <laughs> I don't, what's, why are you so against inviting people? It's not like invitational tournaments are, uh, are that uncommon. Uh oh, uh oh. Another kind of late reaction. I think it's kind of interesting that Dusty is going so heavily into grenades here. That one's going to connect. It's not. They don't seem to do that much damage for students in buildings. Which is probably good. He actually still managed to, to force the MG42 from the structure somehow. Secures the building away from Giap. Forces the MG42 to retreat. And is taking minor damage from the sniper and also forcing the sniper to maneuver in a certain way. Pack howitzer on the field now. GF really, really seems to be struggling a little bit. He's actually got a VP lead though despite that because he holds the two VPs over here on the right side. And uh, focusing entirely on the right half of this map as Osir can be very challenging but also rewarding in the late game. If you can pull it off, which so far he seems to be doing uh, just good enough to survive due largely in part to this uh, this early flamethrower purchase. He just heard the pack howitzer fire its first shot somewhere. I don't know what it's shooting at. Looks like it didn't hit anything. It's making its way into a slightly more aggressive position on the right side. And a scout car is out for Giamp. I wonder if that's gonna... I wonder if that's gonna turn out to be a very good decision. Dusty went captain tier, so this may not... Um, May not have that much of an impact. There's no M20 for it to fight against. It's just going to have to do a little bit of damage to infantry that are unable to retaliate against it. Its primary targets will be rear echelon troops. Possibly an ambulance if it can find an opportunity. And uh, the one unvetted rifle squad. And other than that, it will have very limited impact. A capture point is under attack. Advises. Light MGs now on the line. Heads up. Mechanized mortar carrier is now ready for action. Pack Howitzer looks like it's bombarding the area around this house, and Dusty just chose Infantry Company, which got nerfed this patch. I have not even seen it picked yet in at all. <laughs> Rifle Company has been dominating the meta so hard that Infantry Company, I have not even seen this patch. So this will be an interesting, interesting to see how this shakes out. It's been nerfed because defensive stance no longer uh, exists on Rifleman, although this description text indicates otherwise because relic description text lol lol <laughs> but no, Rifleman no longer have defensive stance because it was deemed not suitable for Rifleman, whatever that means, which I do think is a good change to be fair, but I also think that um, infantry company may struggle a little bit we'll see They have a UI team. <laughs> Complete. Target secured. Is that the team responsible for this? Or not that. Uh, this genius HUD size. Wait, no, this got fixed. Oh, wow, look at that. I can actually, uh, <laughs> actually put it back to max HUD size. Oh, man, look how big that minimap looks. Was that a ninja change? Or was that, did that happen recently? Or not recently? Maybe that's been like that for a while and I missed the boat. Uh oh, there's a wipe. I think that was the first wipe of the game. Stewart plus Mass Rifleman takes out the first squad of Grens. So nice pick up there for Dusty. He has some close calls with grenades, and then finally it was a Stewart that sealed the deal. Call things or not? Oh my goodness, not a Stewart. Yes, a Stewart. <laughs> I didn't see it in the see it in the unit list. God, I'm so scatterbrained. Uh, I need to wake up. Mortar half track is on the field. 
So that is a bold decision there by Dusty. Maybe he wants to try and pick, like, get an RNG lottery win against the Sniper. If it's lightly damaged and a mortar lands on its head, it could die. Captain is looking for an opportunity against the Scout car. I don't know if Jap's going to be able to hold the line here. 1 AT gun is out to protect against the Stuart, but this field is so big and wide that it may not have too much trouble pulling off a flank outside of its line of fire. Enemy forces are securing our territory. Gather round. I smell order. How quick does the bracket update? I assume, um... Uh-oh. AT gun gets a line on the steward. And that's going to pull back to safety. I assume it updates instantly as long as the referees... I mean, it updates as quickly as the ref referees can update it, I think, is the answer to that question. So, they're going to do their best. Given uh, how slow KOTU.org has been running today, I think there's a decent possibility the brackets might be a little bit behind uh, reality <laughs> but have to have to deal with that Ooh, a little slow on <laughs> pack how it's your shot perfectly connected with the scout car right there it looks like it's gonna go down wait no that's a smoke grenade I thought that was a rifle grenade okay never mind he deploys smoke to block the sniper's line of fire and force it to continue backpedaling another squad of riflemen with lmgs is making its way across the right side this entire time dusty has dropped a spare squad of riflemen in the cutoff house here to force his opponent to uh take damage if he wants to get that cutoff back lmg riflemen get too close to the base though they're forced to retreat by that mg42 but dusty is taking a tremendous amount of map control is going to cut off all resource income from the left side and maybe even get a triple cap going soon. And his steward, being a more mobile counter harassment unit, might go right to chase off this harassment attempt, which is actually uh, turning into more of a push than a harassment attempt. A lot of units on their way over towards the right to try and shift Jap's focus. Nice placement on the AT gun right there. Force. <laughs> if that Panzerfaust had gotten off, that steward would have gone down. Nice positioning by Jap. Forcing the steward away for repairs right there. And with most of Dusty's units still over on the left side, I think he will uh, break a little bit of ground here. He manages to get some team weapons up beyond this hedge, and that's going to help him a lot in actually taking and holding territory over here on the right. While Dusty gets out higher tech units, he does, I think, just queued up a Major, judging by his current level of fuel. Yep, Major in production. And once that hits the field, I assume he's going to go straight into Sherman and try and really crank up the pressure against his opponent's infantry. Meanwhile, the Mortar Half-Track has done basically nothing, so that's, that's, no, uh, <laughs> that's nothing new. But I, I'm also curious what he intends to do with it. If he tries to focus on breaking team weapon positions with white phosphorus rounds, that could go well. But I think maybe he just wants to keep on going for lucky shots against the sniper based on its positioning. But I guess I can't really be sure. I think everybody knows that the multi-account thing is not the real reason that DVMV was removed from this tournament, which, uh, I don't know. I, I, wish, I wish I knew more about why that decision was made. I, unfortunately, I am quite in the dark on this one. I meant to do 
Grenadiers chased away over there on the right side. It looks like uh, Mechanized Assault there chosen from GF, so he will be getting out a Stug E. I don't know how much of an impact that's going to have. Even a Lucky Pack Howitzer shot, a couple Bazooka hits here and there, and it can be brought dangerously low. I assume Dusty's going to be getting out an AT gun soon since he is Captain Tier, but he'll probably go Sherman before AT gun because Sherman also stands a decent chance of penetrating this thing's frontal armor. Giap already has a second AT gun out, so he will he's adequately prepared for G, uh, for Dusty's first tanks, and Dusty may be better served by an AT gun than a tank of his own, but I can't think of tank. Just depends on positioning and what he thinks is more important. If he wants to set up a defensive line against this thing, then an AT gun's better, but if he wants to have more counter harassment and pushing power, then obviously a Sherman is better, so uh, that is that's a decision he's gonna be making now, and he will be going with Sherman, probably the right call since this map has a lot of room to maneuver. Oh, look at that. That Stewart getting very aggressive right here. I think he wants to go in on the sniper, maybe. Sniper is forced to retreat. Stewart is not going in on the sniper. It's just going to continue circle strafing the Stug a little bit. Stug is firing on rear echelon troops. These things trying to get focused down by LMGs, but they didn't do all that much damage there. And the Stewart does go down to a long shot from the AT guns. And uh, Dusty didn't have any further anti-tank firepower available for that engagement. Not really sure what he thought he was going to do right there. Without an AT gun shooting at the Stug or something, the Steward only did very minor damage. It shell shocked, stunned it for a brief moment, but uh, Dusty just didn't field enough units into that engagement to really make anything happen. And now his pack howitzer could be in serious danger. AT gun is in production. Why did he just cancel the Sherman? Cancels the Sherman and goes Jackson. He wants a lot of AT. I am surprised by that decision because his opponent does have a decent amount of infantry, but I guess Dusty is confident in his LMGs to deal with anti-infantry duties for him and not uh, and not the HE shells of the Sherman. I, I'm not sure I fully agree with this decision. This almost feels like uh, a panic move. He sees double Stugi and maybe he's overreacting a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. AT gun and Jackson should definitely pose a significant threat to these, but he will have to be very careful with that Jackson not to let it get destroyed by this AT gun wall. Map control for Dusty still looks quite good though, and the victory points are ticking in his favor. He is up by about a hundred, and Giap is, um, being, is going to be very slow to recover control of the map with this build. He will not be getting a Tiger for ten more minutes, maybe. I disagree with that Tassinia because I think uh, in, in on this map especially if one squad of grenadiers goes to cap a point over here the Sherman has a very good chance of popping up and wiping it before it can retreat and picking up those wipes on flank engagements is something that riflemen cannot do that's the ooh Jackson makes a grand entrance <laughs> there goes the scout car it uh, it give it gives um, the Sherman's wipe potential on flank engagements is what makes it a really powerful mobile force for US forces and you can start draining a lot of your opponent's manpower that way um, but clearly Jackson has already paid off hopefully it'll be picking up much more high priority targets for Dusty otherwise it's gonna be a lot of fuel for little gain the Stugs have rotated back left to the protection of these AT guns away from the threat of that Jackson so that will allow Dusty to capture all territory over here on the right side and keep the victory points ticking against his opponent. See, this is the perfect example, by the way, of those Grens would probably die on retreat if there were a Sherman on the field right now. But since there's not, there's nothing to punish punish GM for um for this very deep harassment. We are losing a sector. I don't know if it would be that much of an upset. After all, we did have to use weird seeding. I think with proper seeding, the uh, this this match would not have happened nearly as early in the tournament. And I know I was supposed to be following GF all day. Oh, that pack house for miracle hit! Oh, that was close. That was too close. Wow. Sniper gets away by a sliver. How's that sniper doing, by the way? If I check his kill count really quick. 20 kills in 20 minutes, so not bad. 
Not 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 excellent, but not bad at all. Ooh, that was a nice hit from the mortar half track too. If this mortar half track plus pack house or combo were to clear the AT guns, it could put the Stugs in severe danger. Ooh, that was close. That was so close. Akhaut's just picking up some big hits. It's Vet 2 now, so the barrage is more powerful as well. Uh-oh. Late reaction by Dusty over here on the right side, and he will lose a bazooka. He almost lost that full squad. Bazooka can be a nice thing to have against U.S. forces since their armor is not uh, spectacular. Priest on the field for Dusty. So that actually does help explain his decision to go Jackson. Having a Jackson and an AT gun out gives you significant anti-tank protection, so you don't have to be worried about something diving you and taking out your priest. Anti-tank protection before getting your priest out, I think, is a very good, a wise move. If he had gotten a Sherman, this priest would have a pretty thin level of anti-tank protection, so... Dusty going quite hard into indirect fire solutions. Pack howitzer, mortar half-track, and priest protected by Jackson plus AT gun. He's definitely playing uh, playing into the late game, going for a war of attrition here. Still has to wear 300 VPs down off of his opponent, so I, I, I guess that could make sense. Smoke being deployed right there. Riflemen are going to try and pick up a wipe. Looks like they're going to get away though. Big engagement happening left. Jackson just fell dangerously low and the pack has been decrewed. Jep is advancing right up into Dusty's front door. He needs to get that Jackson out of there. Fortunately, Jep did not feel comfortable advancing any further with these infantry moving up to push him away, but that was close. Priest has not picked up any kills yet. It looks like it's first barrage whiffed, whatever it fired at. Sniper up to 28 kills. Packhouser decrewed again. Dusty really wants to get that thing recruit. He is taking a lot of manpower bleed trying to do so here. Rifle squad dangerously close to getting wiped. Packhouser looks like it should be able to pull back to safety away from that sniper, and Dusty will maintain all team weapon control, but he took a huge amount of manpower bleed during that. Rifle grenade into the house. Mm, only minor damage. Rifle grenades have really never been very good against buildings. But it's good enough to force those rear echelons to retreat, and Giap is pulling into a lead here that Dusty is struggling to just get him off his cutoff point. A couple AT gun shots connect right there. That definitely helps Dusty a little bit. And the Jackson is fully repaired. If he could just get a big hit with the Jackson on a damaged Stug, maybe he could find a little wriggle room over here. He probably needs to get a a really good priest barrage into the midst of an engagement too because he's losing control of the right side to LMG Grenz he's not dedicated quite enough to counter harassment over there Sherman would help <laughs> but uh, he's just gonna have to make this build work on the left I think priest moving up for a barrage AT gun pack howitzer and Jackson Hopefully this indirect fire will be able to punch a hole through Giap's defenses or Dusty could be in a lot of trouble here. Germans are not that good? I don't know if I agree. I don't think that Jackson has contributed enough to have been worth what he paid for it. That, I mean, like, if he had a Sherman out this entire time, he could have shut down all lone Grenadier counter harassment on the right half of the map. This Jackson has just done not anything. <laughs> it has not done anything. 
Good Priest Barrage though, destroys an MG42. He is weakening his opponent over here and time on target artillery will force this defensive line to pull back even further, maybe give Dusty an opportunity to advance up to the fuel point or VP. Not a whole lot left on the front line. Our opponents are seizing a sector. Weird. Smoke grenade right there, I guess, just to I don't know. I don't know what that was about. Push on the right side or left side gets pushed back by uh Stugs. The Jackson didn't quite get up into range of support, and the AT gun has been cleared. This sniper clearing Dusty's team weapons has just been devastating. 37 kills now in 26 minutes. That is way too much. Dusty's inability to get rid of this sniper is really costing him this game. He was so close with that pack howitzer shot too, and it's such a tragedy. <laughs> I think he's gonna need a big hit from the priest or a mortar or maybe even a lucky bazooka sniper or something. No, Captain is going in on the Stugs, but he's only got one bazooka, so his damage potential is very limited. Priest Barrage coming in is off target. Everything has pulled back to safety. I think maybe Jeff heard it fire. It's like the right half of the map continues to be not really in anybody's favor. A retreat forced here and there by both players, both of them dedicating just barely enough to that side to try and maintain victory point control, I guess. Giap gets a triple cap going against Dusty. That's probably going to bring the victory points back, even if Dusty doesn't turn it around soon. Dusty's got 130 fuel now, so he's ready to make his next big fuel purchase. I wonder what it's going to be. If he goes Scott or Sherman, he could... Scott for anti-infantry bleed at range. Sherman for counter harassment of the right side. Another Jackson for preparation for the Tiger, which will be here very soon. I think anything would make sense now, since he's built up such a diverse core. I think any unit could really serve a, a helpful role. I think an anti-infantry vehicle could make sense, but obviously you'd have to be very careful with it. Interesting cat and mouse on the right side between Grenadiers, Rear Echelon Troops, and Riflemen. It looks like this squad's gonna get forced away. Dusty's gonna have to do something about the squad in this building. He does have the mortar half track for that, which is up to six kills, so it's kind of performing about as well as it always has. I still think it's not quite there yet. I think it's just not quite there yet. I think the way it's balanced doesn't quite take into account the delay in your own tech in your own tech when you purchase that thing to make it really worth it the 40 fuel I don't know I've I I just don't think he's getting enough out of it but I also think it depends a little bit on using white phosphorus which he has not used at all as far as I'm aware and that's one of the best abilities it has oh no rifleman just caught an AT gun way out of position nice play by Dusty that could help the Jackson in this coming engagement Jab's infantry is too much for him to handle, though, and the captain and rifleman look like they're all getting forced away. This could be a wipe. Bit of a late retreat there by Dusty. It is gonna maybe get out of there, though. Yep, gets out of there. Should be fine. This AT gun being stolen, potentially, could be a very nice turnaround. Dusty may be the exact thing he needed, but I don't know if he's got what it takes to win this engagement. He's gonna need... Oh, this pack out's a shot! Oh, that could be it! Double pin! That double pin! Oh my goodness, that was crazy. Wow, snipes another one on the retreat too. Priest Barrage coming in on the team weapons and on the Tiger, which just hit the field. At point blank range too. Tiger might pick up the Priest though, it needs to get out of there. AT gun has not been crewed. The American AT gun is also not crewed. So Dusty's really not ready for this. But he has a hundred he has two hundred fuel in the bank. He could get out another Jackson if he 
could get the manpower together, maybe, or, uh... Or maybe even another AT gun, if he thinks that's a better idea. Jackson's probably... Probably his, his best move now. Our opponents are seizing the sector! Not looking good for Dusty. He's about to be triple capped again, and he has lost his victory point lead and pretty much all map control. If he doesn't start winning engagements, it's going to be in a lot of trouble. His one glimmer of hope, that AT gun he decrewed, unfortunately, he could not bring it home. His opponent has recovered it, bringing it back to base for healing and reinforcement. While those are back in the base, the Jackson may have a little room to uh, take out the Stug, but obviously without vision of where those AT guns are, Dusty will want to be very careful how he maneuvers his Jackson. Looks like he's gonna try and go for another shot through the fog. Lose the sight of it though, and he has to pull back to safety. Stolen Bazooka actually chipping away at him a little bit there. He will have an opportunity on the left side fuel, but the entire right side of the map is falling out of his control and he is just bleeding manpower like crazy. He has given up on reinforcing these squads so that he can field a Sherman. Interesting choice. He's going to be depending on his one Jackson to fend off this Tiger, which so far it's been doing surprisingly well. And he's going to just use the Sherman for uh, anti-infantry counter harassment, maybe try and pick up the Sniper which has 44 kills in 32 minutes. That has had a devastating impact on Dusty's team weapons more than anything else. So if the Sherman could kill that, that would definitely be nice. Short range barrage from the priest on these Grens. Looks like it will not connect. The enemy has broken our supply lines. Yeah, infantry company is very munitions expensive. He has to spend a lot of munitions on uh, LMGs, white phosphorus rounds, in theory. We were going to be using those. Top mount machine gun for the Sherman, of course. This push looks like it just went horribly wrong. Oh no. What is happening here? Jackson is probably going to be destroyed. And that was a double vet Jackson, too. Advanced without any vision. That. That could not have gone worse. The Tiger is going to follow up on the Jackson being destroyed by advancing up the left side. It will be completely uncountered. We are losing a sector. And I think that's GG. That Jackson was the only thing protecting Dusty from this Tiger doing exactly what it's currently doing. Light artillery barrage coming in. Priest destroyed. Sherman destroyed, more than half track ambulance, and that's it. That's definitely GG, without beyond a shadow of a doubt, and Dusty will concede. So that, uh, that little attack he made on the left side is all it takes! All it takes for the U.S. Force's House of Cards to come <laughs> crumbling down, since he didn't have, like, a AT gun wall in the back or anything to fall back on. That was pretty much it. GG! Very impressive early game performance from Dusty for sure. It, I wasn't sure how this game was going to turn out, but GF will take it. And advance to round three.